Hey, greetings everybody. This is Coleman Alderson and I welcome you to our cabin retreat garden. It is a wonderful day and things have been warming up around here. I suppose maybe some of y'all are having the same kind of warming trend that's going on right now. And so we like to keep everybody up with what we're doing and share and share alike. We're going to be looking at tomato mulch and this is um, particular kind of mulch it is obviously red and the reason why it's red is because it reflects red which apparently is what um, the tomatoes really like so we've used this a couple years in a row and it seems to work pretty well now it's not just plastic it's it's slightly perforated and I know you can't see um, the holes in here but they're just millions of tiny little holes all kind of poked in here so that it does um, it does drain and we don't cover it up that would defeat the purpose what we do is we lay it out on our bed we plant the plants into we make little slices and plant the plants into through the mulch and then just tack it down with uh, with these staples here now another great thing to use if you can is a utility blade because it cuts a lot finer and nicer than just using regular shears all right and that's basically what we're going to be doing here we're going to first lay out going to lay down our um, irrigation line which I'll just tilt the camera over and you can see we have an irrigation line running down through here right and uh, I've, I've sort of taken it up temporarily to rake out the soil. Now we've applied some amendments and uh, everything's good to go for laying down this irrigation line, tacking it down with some staples, and then coming on the top with, um, with this material here, and then we'll be planting. So this should be a lot of fun. We'll keep you apprised as this develops. Meanwhile, if anybody has experimented with using this material, it has been researched, it has been demonstrated in uh, university studies that this does have a positive impact, which is why we're, we're actually using it. But if you all have opinions about it or some other thoughts or experiences, please let us know. You can comment right here on the YouTube channel or you can also get onto our Facebook page and write in some comments on that. That's uh, gardensall.com slash Facebook okay okay so we started here and pinned the end of it and began to unroll the roll as you can see we're gonna have excess right here so what we'll be doing is taking a utility blade and cutting along the top edge of this board here and pinning everything down now um, you may want to go ahead and and pin before you cut just so you'll have enough coverage down in here and it's ideal I guess to have it cover the entire bed okay but once you pin the back side you can just pull this out like so and uh, it will come out kind of like a sheet trying to get the wrinkles out of the sheet okay so things are progressing so we're coming close to the planting stage I just wanted to show you all this little trick here we find it's it's really easier if you're planting something at a spacing interval that is fixed in this case tomatoes the indeterminate type are recommended to be planted at a distance of 18 to 24 inches and in this case we split the difference this little adjustable gadget here is at 21 inches so we'll start up here and then we'll make another hole in here again using our handy dandy utility blade which really slices into this very well so here we go. Our varieties are all lined up right behind the cutout where they're going to get planted. And we have some nice varieties in here. We have the traditional Cherokee, 
have a couple dads, orange color, orange yellow. We have some mushroom type and um, also a orange accordion, which should be interesting. So this will be a fun. And by the way, we'll do what we've done in the past using the benefits of an archway here. And we'll be using the string staking method of tying off a string and special little clips will attach to the base of the tomato and we'll just guide it on up that string and it's worked so successfully in the past it's hard to let this method go so thank you all for joining our excursion into the use of this red plastic mulch material we will keep you apprised as the season rolls along and again you're invited to offer your comments your thoughts your suggestions up on our facebook page that's gardensall.com front slash facebook or right here on the youtube channel that you're watching we'd love to hear from you have a great gardening season this year folks and all the best and greenest Coleman Alderson for Gardensall.com.